It's really amazing what kind of history people just throw away, not knowing what they have or just not appreciating it. I'm going to tell you about a classic guitar from the late 60s that very nearly ended up buried in a landfill. We're going to talk about what it might be worth, and you're going to get to hear it. So this guitar belongs to a friend of mine. He lets me keep it because I fixed it up and got it back in working order. His friend found it in a garbage can in a complete state of disrepair with half the parts missing. This is a 1969 Fender Mustang with the racing stripe on it. This is not a reissue. I looked at the numbers here on the heel of the neck and it was built in September of 1969. So that would be during the CBS era of Fender. Now if you look at the Teen Spirit video, you can see Kurt Cobain playing this same guitar, except his was blue. This was considered a student guitar in the 1960s along with the Jaguar, which is a pretty similar guitar. And in fact, Kurt Cobain actually mixed and matched these things and made the Jagstang. Back in the day, not many professionals used these things, that is until the 90s, so these might even be more nostalgic for people around my age or a little older. All right, let's talk about what I had to do to this thing, and we're going to learn some important lessons about how to ruin the value of a classic guitar. Now, first of all, you'll notice that some idiot cut up the pick guard and tried to install a humbucker, and I had to patch in a new piece until I can get another period pick guard. A new one won't fit it, and I had to learn that the hard way. The bridge pickup is original. The neck pickup was missing, so I had to buy a new one, so there goes a lot of the value of the guitar. Now the knobs and wiring all had to be replaced. The tremolo and bridge had to be replaced. The frets are original, but they're shot. It needs to be refretted. So that's the one thing that you would actually want to replace that's still here. My friend took off the original tuners, which were still there, and replaced them with locking tuners. And of course that devalues the guitar even more. Now the finish is pretty rough, has a lot of cracking and wear, but you would never want to refinish this because again, that would devalue it. Now I know a lot more about playing guitars than collecting them, but if this guitar were all original, had a decent finish, it would be worth around $3,000-ish. So not as much as a Strat from the same period, but still pretty respectable. With all this happened to this guitar, my guess is that it's worth maybe several hundred bucks. Maybe somebody with more collecting knowledge could uh, tell me something better. So there's how you destroy the value of a vintage instrument, just replace everything on it. The big takeaway here, is that if you get one with original parts and if they're all functional just leave it alone so let me tell you a little bit about the anatomy of this thing now this being a student guitar it has a very short scale the neck is shorter than a strat neck so someone who's just starting out or has small hands like a kid can get around on this thing a little better it also means there's lower tension on the strings so they're easier to bend now the switches i'm not a fan of especially playing live they're pretty clumsy compared to a strat I'm also not a fan of the bridge. The strings tend to make contact with the edge of the bridge if the action is too low. Now the whammy bar doesn't screw in on these and it has to be locked in with an allen key and it can fall out if you're not careful. The tremolo system on these things is really unique. It's got two springs on the inside and you can't adjust them without removing the strings and taking the whole thing off. Okay, let's see what this thing sounds like. Now, first of all, this guitar can be, can be switched off, which is really fun if you're playing live and trying to switch pickups. Here goes the bridge pickup. So definitely a fender, it sounds great. All right, let's do the, the neck pickup. When you turn both pickups on, there are two ways that you can have it out of phase. There's two different phase relationships you can have. Here's the first one. No, I'm not playing that. All right. Here's the second one. Now, this makes a sound that I've never heard come out of a guitar before.
This is a really good sounding guitar. I mean, um, I, I don't have any complaints about the sound. Just needs new frets. These frets, especially up here, are shot. So there you have it. Here's a classic, legendary guitar saved from the trash. If you enjoy the content on this channel, please consider tipping me via PayPal or Patreon, link below, and please like, subscribe, and share.